The Mississippi Council on Economic Education is a nonprofit, nonpartisan educational organization founded to promote economic literacy in Mississippi. The mission is to meet the critical need of ensuring that K-12 schools and teachers in Mississippi provide quality instruction in economics and personal finance to our young people that is both academically sound and nonpartisan. The Council provides resources and training to public and private K-12 teachers in Mississippi, empowering educators to teach their students how economics relates to their lives as a worker, citizen, and consumer. We operate through several partners around the state. We have centers at most of the major colleges and universities around the state where we bring teachers in, provide them direct uh, education, and then we have uh, other study at home type programs that they are involved in as well. We also have numerous programs that we bring directly to the students like the stock market game and several other uh, opportunities for them to learn directly about economics and investments and, and financial uh, literacy. What MCEE does, the Mississippi Council on Economic Education does, is it really makes practical for students the concepts of economics and financial literacy, of learning more about how financial markets work and how our economy functions in the country. Uh, we do that through training teachers. Uh, the Master Teachers of Economics program is a really good way for teachers to infuse economics into their curriculum. This is going to be one of the most important things that they use is open market operations. This is, going to this be is advanced placement economics. Uh, it's a half semester class and the students at the end of the year, if they uh, would like, they can take the advanced placement class uh, test, which is in May, and they get college credit for it if they uh, make a four or five on the test. The Mississippi Council on Economic Education, basically it allows all the teachers that are in K through 12 free resources, um, professional development that's all year long, and it allows us to be able to teach economics uh, a lot better than what we would normally. Uh, probably most people only had three to six hours in high school or college, and then when they get out, they end up uh, probably forgetting a lot about it, and this gives us a lot of uh, state-of-the-art, cutting-edge material that we can use and that's what the Mississippi Council of Economic Education has, uh, has provided for us. It's made a tremendous difference for me. I was asked uh, about five or six years ago to teach economics and I'd only had uh, a couple classes in college. I went on and took some professional development, uh, got more interested in it, was asked uh, what, I, what, I, what I like to uh, be a participant and teacher uh, to be Council of Economic Education to be able to get an MTE. And I went through that program. Uh, it was eight or nine months. Uh, it was real intense and had a great teacher and she uh, basically laid out a whole curriculum for us that we can follow and explained a lot of stuff to help uh, make connections for the students that makes it more real life for them. It's got to be probably one of the best in the state as far as providing free professional development. I mean, it's, no, it's not free for them, but they're able to raise tons of money and we get, we get the opportunities to do this for free during the summer, during the fall, spring and winter, and it allows us to be able to give stuff, give, give information for students that they can relate to the real world and see it's just not theory in a textbook. I enjoy just the financial aspects in general. It'll help me throughout my life, especially within stocks, bonds, anything that has to do with money exchange or the financial market. It helps me understand the, the way the American economy flows and the world economy flows as a whole. I would definitely recommend it to other students. Uh, I've learned a lot about uh, how it affects me, how it affects politics, how um, economics affects all our decisions. Like, for instance, we had a speaker come in last class period that talked on um, economics and how it affects uh, politics, history, and how uh, we'll use it every day of our lives. I've learned about how economics is very different from what I used to think it was um, and it's a lot about how money flows and about GDP and things like unemployment and things more than just money itself. I like having speakers come in and teach us about, uh, like we have one come in and teach us about the stock market and we've had one teach us about the, uh, the, way, the, the way the economy affects the election that's coming up which I'll be able to vote in and uh, we just learn a lot about the flow of money and the stock market mostly and it's just really great and I've learned a lot. 
When I first started teaching economics, I got involved with the council. Um, I really wasn't sure what I was getting into. The summer before I started teaching economics and AP economics, I took the Master Teacher of Economics program. And um, it let me realize, you know, I'd probably been lost had I not been involved with the council. And um, that summer I also took the uh, AP training. So I've been involved with the uh, Economics Council since the very beginning. And uh, the big difference, you know, from teaching other subjects is the resources. Is that when you teach uh, normal classes and you go to uh, professional developments, they have general um, help and so forth. But with the council, it's specifically geared to what I teach. And even if I take a class that's maybe a little bit off what I teach, you get ideas to help you with all the things. Uh, maybe, you know, when I take the entrepreneurship, it still helps me with regular economics and AP economics. Well, the stock market game is, is really good in, in getting um, students involved in how the economy works. And um, a lot of students take varying degrees of interest. Some of them just sort of skim through it. But the ones that really take interest, they learn and they figure out um, why certain businesses do certain things and why companies are more valuable than other. They learn that um, sort of strategies that may be a little bit different from a regular stockbroker, but they learn strategic thinking and how to and analytical thinking, and that's the key thing is get them to analyze. What I like about the class is I get to understand more of what I've been doing all my life when it comes to like spending money and buying things. I understand more why people do what they do, especially the businesses, why things go on sale and. Things like that. What I like most about this class is that I'm learning skills that will help me in my future in business, although I don't think that I'm going to be an economics major in college. I think this class is going to help me in the future because it allows me to see how businesses market certain products and how to buy smarter, so to say. It's important that students learn about economics at middle school level because it helps prepare them not only for high school and college, but for life. Um, they, they learn about saving money, they learn about investing money and making money, um, and it just helps prepare them to be more successful in their future. Working with the council has made me a better teacher because they've provided uh, workshop opportunities uh, at no charge. They've provided resources to our classroom at no charge. With a banker in every classroom is a good asset. Um, they have just about anything you need in the classroom and it's at no charge to you and it's available. Most, most things are available online for download and it's so easy to work into the gifted classroom. What I really like is how it's mainly computer based so we get to learn when it's developing and uh, finding trends in stock prices and such. What I've learned about the economy and money is that we, that you get to make connections in, in the real world and how to invest, making money, saving money, spending, budgeting, different things like that. I've learned how to invest in stocks and I like how we can learn about all these stocks and all and like have fun and play a game kind of. And I like the competition and things like that. And I like how you can win money for stuff. As state treasurer, um, there's tremendous value in the Mississippi Council on Economic Education. Um, it is a tremendous organization that does um, work that is just invaluable to our children across the state. Um, there's an outreach. Um, they get down into the layers of economics, finance, um, and our children need that. Um, we do our children a disservice if we don't teach them that. And this council is very um, involved, understands the need, has a long-term vision and a strategy because ultimately that becomes the workforce and we want our children to be prepared. Working with the council has made me a better teacher because I know so much more about the subject. And sometimes standing in front of class is like uh, British question time and you get just bombarded with questions. And working with the council and going to all the uh, sessions during the summer and during the years, you're able to answer the questions. And having credibility in the subject is everything with the students. If they don't feel like you know it, they just tune you out. So that's the key thing is, is knowing the subject. 
probably in the last 19 years of my teaching, the Master Teacher of Economics has been the best thing that I've invested in my education to help me become a better teacher. Managing finances is extremely important because no matter how much money you make, if you don't know how to utilize those assets, those finances, and know where to put your money and know how much money is coming in versus going out, then you probably won't be successful. That's why it's so important for us to, to educate our students coming up, the next generation of our workforce, the next generation of entrepreneurs, to teach them the practical realities of economics and to teach them how they're really not going to uh, escape it when they get out of high school. It's not just a textbook they're going to have to go through. It's, it's a real life, uh, real situations that are going to impact their futures. If you look at the state of Mississippi and every list that comes out, we're on the bottom for so many things. And uh, if our state's going to advance financially and economically, it's got to start with this generation coming up through our schools. We have to provide our, uh, our children the tools they need to succeed in tomorrow's world. Financial literacy is so important in our state. Uh, we need to change that and be on the cutting edge. Uh, truly this council is a driving force and a champion for our children and for financial literacy. So I see this organization continuing to grow, to be a vital part of how we change the dynamics, how we change the culture of our state, how we prepare our children to be the next workforce. And certainly if you're an organization that wants to come in and uh, grow jobs, expand. You don't want children that are prepared financially because if they're good stewards of their dollars, they'll certainly be better stewards of your dollars. For more information on the Mississippi Council on Economic Education, please go to our website at mscee.org. We're doing our annual forum, uh, and this is our 10th anniversary for our uh, U.S. Senator Thad Cochran Forum for American Enterprise, and uh, it's a special day for us. <laughs> Senator Cochran, several years ago, encouraged the National Council on Economic Education to reconstitute the Mississippi Council, uh, and we have enjoyed 10 years since then, and that's the other reason that we're here today to celebrate 10 years of teaching opportunity through economics, personal finance, and entrepreneurship for our state's teachers and our state's students. Economics is the science of choice, and we help teachers teach value-based decision-making. As more teachers learn how to help our students function in the free enterprise system, Mississippi's workforce will be better prepared to function in a global marketplace and to contribute to our state's economy. So after 10 years of teaching those principles, we have trained about 8,000 teachers in our state, and they have touched the lives of about 800,000 students over 10 years. And those are students in 99% of the state's public school districts, and we've also been involved very closely with the private and parochial schools also. Uh, Mississippi consistently ranks in the top 10 in the nation for the effectiveness and efficiency in economic and financial education. We're just thrilled to be a part of that. But we cannot accomplish and we could not have accomplished over the last 10 years all of those things without our very close partnership with the business community. So I'm very pleased indeed to join you this year uh, really to congratulate all of you, particularly those who spend a lot of time and effort in thinking through the challenges of, of and the importance of uh, the programs that, design, that are designed to acquaint us all, all citizens, with the way our government functions and is organized to protect our national interests, to create better opportunities for economic advancement and success throughout the United States and particularly our organization here in the state of Mississippi for Mississippians. Understanding the basic fundamentals and the financial realities are so important 
to successful citizenship in Mississippi and throughout our country. It's important to understand the impact of health care challenges on our budget process, education needs, teacher salaries. The list is really a long one. And each one of these that I've mentioned are just examples of reasons why financial literacy on the personal level of each individual citizen of our state is important to the successful living in today's modern society and living successfully and with the rewards that our economic and financial strength as a nation bring to all of our citizens. Think about how often you hear the terms stimulus, deficit, spending, payroll, tax holiday, TARP, whatever, bailouts, discretionary spending, entitlement spending, tax policy, job creation, the Dodd-Frank regulations, Teaching students about the fundamental challenges of understanding and benefiting from economic success is the mission of the Mississippi Council on Economic Education. The council uh, started in 2002 when the distinguished governor, former governor William Winter, was so active and successfully so in, in concert with John Dillon, who was chairman and CEO of International Paper Company, they announced the new initiative. And in the years since, an alliance has been forged with the National Council on Economic Education, and fundraising has been an ongoing effort through the annual Forum on American Enterprise. East economic education has therefore become a genuine priority in Mississippi's public schools. In the past decade, here's an example. 8,000 teachers have been trained covering 99% of the state's school districts in economic education, how better to present the issues and equip students with an understanding of this important subject. These teachers, though, are the reason why, in my judgment, You've, we have all enjoyed the success in reaching over 800,000 students in Mississippi schools with how to be good stewards, how to manage financial resources, uh, how to keep the efficiency in our state councils for economic education as a shining example of this program. For the past decade, the Mississippi Council on economic education has fulfilled its mission to make economic education an important part of the core curriculum of Mississippi schools. The council wants to see at least one master teacher in economics in every school district so we're not resting on our laurels. This is a desire to expand the youth asset development program throughout the state. These goals are all attainable, but they wouldn't be possible without your generous support and your presence here today and a commitment to help move forward in the years ahead. I really appreciate your continuing to keep me involved and informed of the activities and for inviting me to a meeting that I really could attend. Thank you very much. What's your reaction to the work of the Mississippi Council on Economic Education? I think it brings uh, everybody together to share experiences and understandings of how we can all work together to be sure that America prospers, that we can compete in the international marketplace. Why is it important that young uh, students learn about this uh, uh, in uh, K-12? Well, they have a responsibility as the generation that's coming along to take responsibility for the success or failure of our economic system, of our educational institutions. These are big challenges. And so our young students throughout the country uh, need to understand that uh, this is part of being America, everybody working together for the good of the country. And in indirectly, or maybe directly, 
they benefit personally and individually as well. It is a great pleasure, it is in fact an honor to be with you today before the Mississippi Council on Economic Education. This is a terrific organization. I wish, oh how I wish, that it were duplicated in other states nationwide because what you are doing, what this council is doing, is extremely important work, period. Congratulations. This is exactly what your state should be doing. It's terrific. And by the way, I happen to know that the Mississippi Council on Economic Education is a very fine organization, that it is highly intelligent, that it is well managed and well led. It is a real honor to be in this room with wonderful teachers and people who are leading our schools as I am today. That is an honor. Look, I sit out there in New York City, highfalutin on a network, you know, I'm out there on TV, I wear the makeup and all the rest of it. Now I'm in Mississippi and I'm meeting people, I'm talking to people who really make a difference in the area that I deal in. I deal in money, I deal in business, I deal in economics. It is a real pleasure to meet people on the ground floor who are making a difference in that area. I think you should be proud. I think Mississippi should be proud of what it is doing and what you are doing in the classrooms. It is absolutely terrific. I mean My message today is that our society at the moment is shaped in its entirety by the impact of the panic of 2008, almost exactly four years ago today. Our politics, our financial culture, our economy, all shaped by that panic and the aftermath. And that's why we're at a crucial point for our economy and our society, shaped by economics. What's your outlook for the short term? Short term, it really all depends upon the election. I really don't believe that we're going to get this fiscal cliff. I don't think we'll go over that cliff, no matter who wins the election. So short term, I see compromise coming out of Washington, and I see a relief for the economy because of that, regardless of who wins the election. What's your reaction to the work of the uh, Mississippi Council on Economic Education? I wish that this council and its work were duplicated in every state across the nation because this is vital stuff. If my premise is correct that all the problems in America today, our entire society is shaped by economics, business, money, that it's vitally important that young people know about money business economics and this council and its leadership is really taking a very important role in, in providing that kind of education It's a wonderful thing what kind of uh, results positive results do you see from uh, children uh, in school learning about uh, how economics affects their lives well they can follow what's going on in our society they know what they're talking about and I think the job of teachers is to cut through all this misleading jargon that surrounds the economy forget about QE3 and liquidity and all those complicated ideas here's the basic rule do not keep spending more than you're bringing in do not go into debt get a job save money buy a house invest and prosper. Teach that, please. Not a bad idea. What's your reaction to everything that you've seen here and heard here today? It's very positive. Very, very positive. Mississippi is taking a leadership role in this and it's a wonderful thing. I am delighted to talk about something that's very near and dear to my heart, um, financial literacy. Um, it's a very uh, special uh, opportunity that we have in, our, in the state of Mississippi. Um, you know, just with you all being here, uh, the synergy in this room, the commitment, but what's your ultimate commitment to? It's to our children. It's to, to where we have a vision for our children. Where do they go from here? How do we prepare them? What's their next step? How do we make them the next workforce? And most importantly, how we make them part of the workforce that stays here in Mississippi? because we want our children to grow up here. We want them to have good paying jobs. We want them to be engaged and be a good citizen of the state of Mississippi. You know, we should all wake up every day and be glad and happy to be an ambassador for the state of Mississippi because we have a wonderful place to live. And that's where we want our children to be. But it gets down to something very key. 
And that has to do with how do we handle finance and economics for our children? I know those sound like very big words and we just, you know, we've done such a great job now economics is being taught for a semester in the schools. And that's tremendous because they need to understand supply and demand. They need to understand um, the gross national product. They un need to understand uh, stock markets and so forth. That is certainly instrumental. But what else is key is financial literacy. They need to understand personal finance. Because if they don't, it's going to be pretty tough as they move along into the world and they go through college and, and into their next lives as adults and working and how they manage their money. Well, I think it's important that we right now go, it's time to make a difference in financial literacy in our state. Uh, I will tell you that there are not many states that have mandated it yet. So far, there are only four states in the country that require a credit half semester of financial literacy. Well, I, I would challenge you that we need to be number five. You know, currently our law says that we shall teach our children, 10th or 11th graders, economics. And we may teach them financial literacy. Well, it's time to make the commitment. It's time to look down the road and go, we need to do this for our children. We do them a disservice if we don't teach them financial literacy if we don't get them to understand about how their dollars work. Um, and as I said on the video, you know, if they're better stewards of their dollars, they'll certainly be the workforce that you'd like to hire, and they'll be better stewards of your dollars. This is the cornerstone. You know, we have to be engaged with economics and financial literacy for our children. So the council has done a tremendous job of outreaching and to get the message out. You know, that's a, it's a culture change to be able to get these children to understand how important the financial literacy is and how much uh, economics are needed in their everyday lives. I am just thrilled about it. I believe it is extremely important for students to, to learn about economics at an early age because that is something that affects all of us regardless of whether we choose a field in economics as our career or we just need economics in our day-to-day -day living. If people have questions or like more information, what should they do? Well, they can go on to the internet at mscee.org to get more information on the Mississippi Council on Economic Education.